Bruce Lee is a martial arts legend. From starring in Batman to his first marriage rejection, we count 10 facts about Bruce Lee you may never have heard. This still, taken from the 1973 film Enter the Dragon, the last film Bruce Lee completed before his passing, actually shows three martial arts legends. On the right of the photo, dressed in black, performing his signature sidekick is Bruce Lee. The shirtless man in the middle is renowned bodybuilder and martial artist Bolo Jung. The third man, dressed in yellow, often uncredited for his appearance in the film, is actually a very young Jackie Chan. The now legendary Chan played one of Han's henchmen in the film and actually fought Bruce Lee in this scene. At the beginning of the film, Bruce Lee also fights Chan's famous Peking Opera School classmate Sammo Hung. Hung has had a very successful career in the Hong Kong film industry as both a martial arts star and director. In 1963, Bruce Lee was rejected for US military service. At the age of 22 and in peak physical condition, Lee was classified as a 4F, not acceptable for military service due to physical, mental or moral standards. He was deemed unfit because he was short-sighted, a condition for which he wore contact lenses. Lee also had a sinus disorder and reportedly an undescended testicle. It's well known that Bruce Lee had two children, Brandon Lee born 1st February 1965 and Shannon Lee born 19th of April 1969, but was it possible that he had another child? Shortly after arriving in the US, Lee completed his high school diploma at Edison Technical School, now Seattle Central Community College located on Capitol Hill in Seattle. Here is a copy of Lee's registration to the school dated 9th of September 1959. It was completed six years before the birth of his son Brandon, however it lists one dependent. Did Bruce Lee already have a child before he arrived in the US? Contrary to popular belief, the first martial art Bruce Lee ever studied was actually Tai Chi and not Wing Chun. Lee began training Wu-style Tai Chi with his father after getting into several fights as a child. In 1962, when Lee was 16, he began training Wing Chun with legendary martial arts teacher Yip Man. Many of Man's students refused to train with Lee when they found out he was of European descent. At the time, Chinese were generally against teaching martial arts to non-Asians. After several more fights as a teenager, the police threatened to throw Lee in jail. His dad decided to send him to the US after he beat the son of a well-known triad in a fight, and there was a possibility there was a contract out on his life. Many martial artists wanted to test Bruce Lee's skills. Perhaps the most famous story was the time an extra challenged Lee on the set of Enter the Dragon. Cameraman and photographer Dave Friedman, who worked on Enter the Dragon with Lee, recalls what happened. Bruce never accepted these challenges, but one time, when challenged on the set by a very stupid extra, he did accept and the fight was over with one fast kick to that idiot's teeth. According to Friedman, this is an actual photo taken during the fight. Bruce Lee's real name was Lee Jun Fan. He was born on the 27th of November 1940 in San Francisco. He was born in both the Hour and Year of the Dragon, which, according to Chinese tradition, is a strong and fortuitous omen. His father, Lee Hui Chun, was a famous Cantonese opera star. His mother, Grace Ho, was from a very wealthy and powerful Hong Kong family, the Ho Tungs. According to a popular rumor, Bruce Lee had a German maternal grandfather, but there is no evidence to support this. He did have European ancestry, however. He had an English maternal grandmother. Bruce Lee was the fourth of five children. His younger brother, Robert Lee, became very famous in Hong Kong during the 1960s as the lead singer of the band, The Thunderbirds. Bruce Lee had a very quick wit and loved to joke around. This photo shows him cheekily posing for the camera with friends after dinner. In this photo, Lee jokes with Paul Haller, Robert Klaus and Raymond Chow on the set of Enter the Dragon. It was Lee's 32nd birthday. According to his friend Jake Palmer, shortly after Lee met Linda Emery, the woman he would later marry, the two went on a date. Palmer was seeing a Chinese girl at the time and the parents of both girls were apprehensive about interracial coupling. Lee devised a trick that would solve the problem. Palmer picked up Linda from her house while Lee picked up Palmer's date. Once they were all in the car, they switched their dates back, joking about what they had done and how silly it was that they couldn't date whoever they pleased. 
Bruce Lee wasn't always so popular with the ladies. In 1963, while studying at the University of Washington, Lee asked his first love in the US, girlfriend of three years, Amy Sambo, to marry him. She turned him down. Bruce Lee's first student in the US was Jesse Raymond Glover. They met in 1959 and both attended Edison Technical College in Seattle. Glover went on to start his own class and was the first person other than Lee to teach the Jun Fan Kung Fu systems. One of Lee's earliest students, Dan Inosanto, is said to have introduced Lee to the idea of using a football shield for martial arts training. Lee developed a series of kicking drills that incorporated the shield, and now they can be found in almost every martial arts school on earth. Bruce Lee was actually a famous childhood actor. Most people think he became famous after the release of his martial arts films, but he was already a well-known actor in Hong Kong. He made his acting debut when he was just a baby in the 1941 film Golden Gate Girl. By the time Lee was 18, he'd already starred in 20 films. Another little known fact about Bruce Lee's early acting career is that he appeared in the 1960s US television show Batman. Lee starred as Kato, his character from The Green Hornet, in three crossover episodes alongside Adam West and Burt Ward. Well hey, well there's some weird facts about Bruce Lee. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments section below if some of these surprised you or not. Also remember to keep chatting with us all week long over on Twitter at SlapCam. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time. Pew!